about it. It's, a, it's all like a rock surfaced. Uh, every, every, every row has its own little rock wall. It's hidden. Uh, well, every now and then, when you're when you're when you're getting into the harvest, all you start things start getting a little scattered, and all of a sudden you lose track of one of the batches. So, last year I had a really tough time with uh, the Fort Bowie Shannon, which apparently got a gold medal this year. So, <laughs> apparently having a difficult time with a wine could be a good thing because I was ready to dump that shit down the. Uh, so. <laughs> But yeah, there's a you know it ends up being just that difficulty in, in the cellar because I'm in, I'm in the cellar making the wine. Chris is in the field uh, getting sunburned and me avoiding his calls because I don't really like him. It's hot out there. It's crazy. So I stay in the cellar. But yeah, the, in the cellar that's where I get most of my problems. He has a lot more other challenges in the, in the vineyard: hail, late spring frost, those kind of things. Havelina. <laughs> Uh, in Jerome, we're just over 4,900 feet, and in Cornville, we're at 42, 4,200 feet. What are you guys at? 38. Yeah, so we're actually probably down on the on the Merkin East. We're probably more like 37. Thir Merkin East is 37, uh, right on right on the river front. But Elefante is about 44, 42, 42. Nice mix of elevations there. Mix of soils. Which is your very favorite? I mean, My very favorite? Like, I don't. I've had like I whatever. I get, I like to. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the one you haven't had yet. Join the club. Plugged. <laughs> Good?